Hi guys, T-Bella here. Welcome to Farming Simulator 15. I'm just going to make a tutorial on chaff to silo. I've been requested it, so here you go guys. Uh, so basically, I'm on Beyond Home Map, just down at the biogas plant at Field 41 there. You can see my flashing away. And I'm going to use the Crone, Big X, standard one, and the Man Truck, the Tipper, and that's just standard one as well. So we'll jump in so I like to zoom right out so I can get a good idea of where I'm driving especially on different courses uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second one combi empty combine and offload so we'll select that one and simply start cost recording so what I'm going to do is we're just going to close that off start the engine which always helps take the handbrake off just go forward. Let's go down silo three. You don't have to stop, you can just keep on going. I'm just going to drive around here. I'm just going to end the course at the top of this field. I'll just explain why I've done the course the way I have. So we'll just right click again and then we'll just stop the course there. Then we'll save that as T1. Right, so uh, the reason why I've started the course there and not right up here is because once I've, I'm full and I'm, I'm going to empty. Uh, load if I'm, if I'm full here and it'll just try and take the most direct route which will try and go through them trees so if it if it is it'll just try and go this way and then come through in theory it should work that way uh, so that's the reason why I've done that and I've stopped here because uh, it's a similar sort of thing I can get to any part of the field without cutting across anything bad I don't know if, if I'd have stopped it back there no my luck I'd have been there, needed to get there and stuck in all this lot so just better to just get out, and, out in the open a little bit. So I'll just jump out of the truck, let me just switch it off and I'm going to jump in the crown and the crown we want to be on the sixth one on the bottom and go to field work type so we select that one and on the top one we want to be on the ninth one which is the course generation we select that and then the field as you can see we're on field 41 so we'll just up that to there working width is 10.4 all you can do is press that and it'll tell you what you're working width is when you spread us out uh, starting corner what we're going to do is we're going to do it from the north west corner I've worked this field before so I know where it's going to be uh, it'll, what I'll do I'm going to go north west and go east uh, so it's going to start around about here so we're gonna, that's the corner we're going to start from, but it like builds up to it, and it's, so it's a little bit back and direction east. I'm going to do headlands, which will max out the headlands, so it just keeps on going round and round in circles. It just makes it easier, so it doesn't get stuck on fences and stuff, trying to turn around and trees and whatnot. It, it really does. I have at least a couple of headlands anyway. That's what I suggest. Uh, so now we've done that we can just click the cost generation button there you go let me just have a look on here there we go to show all the courses as you can see i'm using course play version 4.01 0109.dev so it might look a little bit different to yours it might not uh, so there you go we're okay there so what i'm going to do now is as you can see we've got nothing to to uh, harvest, so do use my magic, control R, and just accelerate time a bit. So we get some crops up. There you go, I'll just go to daytime. Oh, bit buggy. So, what I'm going to do is jump in there now. What I'm going to do is drive the cars. So, what that's going to do is, oh, uh, Sort of drive. Oh, I got carried away. Look, 
Make sure you do it at the first waypoint, otherwise it'll start there. I'll do it now, and it'll just fall back up again and head back down there. Oh, maybe not. But what's that? I've seen anyway. So yeah, that'll start there. It will, it will actually start, and it'll just wait because it's waiting for this big boy. So what we need to do now on the, on the settings on this one, oh, there, and combine. So we need to select the one that we're using, and we know it's the Chrome VX. That's the one. So what we're going to do now is drive course. What'll happen now is it'll just drive the course. It'll actually go through uh, to check to, to make sure the course is all right. So. Drive now, I'm just going to make sure it drives the course. Got oh, be awkward. <laughs> be awkward. There you go, so hopefully it should just go around through silo 3. There we go. As you can see, it's unloaded there, which is a good sign it works anyway. That's great. So, uh, yeah, what it'll do is it'll go up to the end waypoint up here and it'll just wait for about three seconds. And then it'll know that that combine needs it and it'll just head down there and it'll just follow it around there you go so what we'll do now is on the offset I have mine set to 8.6 sometimes 8.7 uh, what that does is it just aligns it slightly off centre so it's a bit more further this way it's just for when it's going around the corners not so much on the uh, these corners around here but when it's going through that corner when it's turning around there it's a little bit more difficult and it kind of gets in the way and if you have it too close to it it will just stick and it'll just you'll, you'll just get a red marker saying it's stuck and it needs help and you're just gonna have to faff around trying to get it so just try and get to a comfort comfortable position or place where with, with the tip that you're using I did use a man tipper because it's a bit more cumbersome so, as you can see, you've got quite a range to get from your, for your combine. It'll, it'll go quite a distance, but you've got to be careful you don't go too far because otherwise it'll just stop and it won't load. Or unload rather. As you can see, all seems to be working. Correctly. Famous less words. I have faith. But yeah, I always try and use a field that's as close to the biogas plant as, as I can, because uh, the less traffic you have to go through, the better, really. So I've always used this field on this map, and I tend to do the same on other maps. If, I'm, uh, if I've got a field close enough, I'll try and uh, use them. Like I say, I've uh, I've got a leap air in there as well, which I use to load the silos. So it's just really good, really good money maker. This is where the money comes in. So as you can see, going around the corner is okay. <coughs> I'm not going to get it too close to it because it does sometimes stick. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll try it. Sometimes stick it might stick and it might get stuck. Now if I do it on eight point seven, I can guarantee it might stick a couple of times, but it will get round. I'll put it on eight point six because I think that's just still get a little bit uh, sticky. You'll see what I mean, but it won't stop it. So I'd hate to stop the whole process and maneuver again and just do it just for the sake of the offset. But I do know any closer. Than 8.4, and it's, it will stop, and you probably have to do it yourself. Here we go. Look, 
as you can see the truck will come in front of it look and you'll get that oh there you go look the wangle in it get in there look and that's tight and that's on 8.7 as you can see we worked it for any shorter and it'd have been not good so 8.6 8.7 would have been a little bit more so it'd have been a little bit freer As you can see, we're up to 90%, comes to 100%, which is what L empty. As you can see now, what it'll do is it'll head for the the waypoint. And as you might think, you might think, oh, that's the first waypoint, but that really is the one in front of it, which adds a bit more confusion to it. So it's always good to just back up a little bit. So fingers crossed now, and it'll drive through silo free and load. There we go, happy days. I'll just check to make sure it goes all the way back around. Oh, this is hard work, you know, guys. I'm almost getting calluses. <laughs> slight pause and it should just head back over. There we go. Like I say, I'm not saying this is the definitive way of doing it, it's just my way and it works for me so by all means find your own way and uh, I hope this has been helpful to some of you. Uh, so thanks again for watching. And uh, if you've got any comments and suggestions, by all means leave them below. I'll also be doing a uh, Let's Play on uh, Black Rock Valley. And I'll be using a lot of cosplay on there. So if you want to come and join me on there and have a watch and play along, uh, that'd be great. Uh, but yeah, thanks for your time guys. And I'll see you later.